Hi, this is PD at Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.com and this is tutorial 176. Now in this tutorial I want to go ahead and start uh, doing a little bit more customization with our character and I want to achieve that through scale. So let me go ahead and load uh, one of our characters up onto the screen and I'll just stick with the muscular one for now. So I'll just go ahead and drop him on. Uh, let's get him positioned in the center or at least pretty close. I'm also going to want to turn him around on the y-axis 180 degrees just so he's facing the camera and I can see him a bit better. Now I'm just going to duplicate him and I'll want probably three of them. There we go and let's set all their, well let's just leave their animations the way they are right now. If we start it up uh, actually, we get the one in the middle, so let's turn off our character amount for now. So the one in the middle does not spawn. And if we start it up, we got three guys. Uh, let me just move this one just a little bit closer. Now the way I wanted to achieve uh, changing the size of our character is just to play around with the scale. So I'm going to take this one over here on the left and I want to see, you know, basically how short can I make this mesh before it really starts to uh, look too nasty. So I'm going to start off maybe 0.5, half the height. And it's going to be a little distorted. I'm not too worried about that. I am going to zoom in on them just to take a look here. And if I click off them outside of the scene, I can get a better view. It's not too bad. I think uh, it's a little too short. So I'm just going to leave it running and I'm just going to increase it to 0.6 maybe. Uh, 0.6. And that doesn't look too bad. I still think it's a little too short though, so we're going to increase them to, let's say, 0.75. And there we go. So he's 25% shorter. As far as the length of his arms and legs and everything else go, it looks like it's not too bad. It's not too badly distorted. And there's an obvious uh, height difference. So let's take the guy that's on the right now and let's play around with his height so I did 25% on the other one let's try going 25% in the other direction and right away that that looks way too tall uh, let's try uh, just a 10% increase and these values are going to be different for uh, the meshes that you're probably using uh, you just got to play around and figure out what the min max is uh, so a 10% increase in the Y he looks fine. Uh, nothing too distorted there. Now let's play around with width. Uh, I'll select the guy on the left here and uh, for width you'll want to scale on the X and the Z and well we'll just start off in the middle and I'll just go up by 50% so 1.5 and if I click off uh, that might actually, it looks like it's a little too much. So let's shrink that down just a little bit more. Uh, let's say 1.25. And we'll take another look. Uh, that's not too bad, he looks quite bulky. And it's going to be different when you start going through different animations. So you might actually find some values that you think are pretty good. Then when you start running through certain animations, it uh, won't look right. And you'll just have to come back and readjust. And since I am really just prototyping stuff out, I've never tried this before. So it may or may not work. But if it does, great. Okay, so let's take this tall guy over here and let's see how skinny we can make him. So I'm going to try taking off uh, probably 20%. So let's try 0.8. 
and he is quite a bit skinnier. And those do seem to be about the values that I want, at least to start off with. So we'll just quickly write these down. So on the X and Z, we have a min of 0.8 and a max of 1.5. And on the Y, we have a min of 0.75 and a max of 1.2, was it? Uh, let me just check here. 1.1. 1. 1. Okay, so we got those values written down. I'm going to go ahead and delete all three of these. I'm going to turn on my character mount again so we have a character spawning. Let me just make sure. Yep, yeah, we have one spawning. And I'm going to create a new script. And this script. I've actually already created a uh, character mesh scale is what I'm calling it and let's just open this up in unity and I'm gonna go ahead and put these values down for the min and max but uh, I'm gonna leave them public for now because there's probably gonna be a lot of tinkering going on so we'll just make them public so they can be accessed in the inspector so we'll just do a float and I'm gonna say min height is equal to and then the min height that I had was 0.8 and I'll create another one and this will be max height and this was equal to 1.1 so 10% increase and then another float and this will be min width This was equal to, uh, what was it, 0.8. I'm sorry, the min y was actually 0.75. And again, I want to stress that these values won't be right for everyone's character models. So you will have to play around with it to figure out which one works for yours. And my max width, I went up, uh, what was it, 50% I think it was. And we'll need the F. And for these sliders, I'm actually going to start off with using just on GUI for it. Now I'm going to come over to my player customization model. And I'm going to want to make a variable in here that will actually store uh, this value to it just so we can apply it to our mesh if we when we go to change the mesh. Um, we'll make these, I guess we'll just make them public. Well, well, let's make them private because we don't need them exposed in the inspector. So I'm going to put them right above the rotate me and rotate clockwise. And I'm going to make it a vector 3. And I'm just going to call it scale. And to begin with, actually, let's make it equal to vector three dots. And I think there is a one. Yes. So this is actually equivalent to saying vector three one one one. And the reason why we're doing that is because these are going to be percentage values. And to start off with, our character is going to be 100% uh, on the X, Y, and Z. And the scale will offset it according to what we want. And actually, if you think about it, when we scale on the X, we're automatically scaling on the Z. So we really don't need to save the Z value. So we should be able to get away with making this actually a vector 2 and just keep the Y and the X. And I believe there is a vector two one. I don't use vector twos too much except for screen screen uh, values. And there is a one, so we'll just save it as a vector two. Now it looks like we're almost at ten minutes already, so I'm going to save this one off. And in the next tutorial, we'll actually start implementing.
the GUI components needed to uh, scale our character. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.